eons of tyranny, the demon god Adir was finally overthrown by humanity. Though fear of his terrible power endured. And so was formed the hallowed sentinels. Our duty being to stand vigil for signs of his return. Even exile to another realm could not silence the fallen god forever. And in time, Adir's malignant influence pervaded the world once more. In his hunger for vengeance, Adir orchestrated the return of his demonic army. Light was swallowed by shadow. And with it, hope. A new, grim champion arises. The Dark Crusader. And perhaps it will indeed come to pass that only they who shun the light in order to fight the darkness possess the power to defy a god. Alright, um, so that was a pretty awesome opening, um, definitely something I've seen on the trailers for this game, Lords of the Fallen, something I've been very excited uh, to play, so I'm happy it finally came out. Um, hope you guys are, uh, enjoy this gameplay walkthrough, uh, I'm sure I will die a bunch of times, I will probably curse a bunch of times, but I think it'll be awesome. Uh, before we get really started, you know, if you could do me a favor, uh, if you're enjoying the videos, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. But let's get into it. It is past distorting self delusion into faith. A few obtaining the revelations they so desperately seek. In a conflict between the divine. Are mortals, are mortals mere spawns, pawns, spawns, or the flesh of gods, or death itself, all will be consumed. Cross. For she must feed. Who? Lilith? This Diablo? He must be a little little hurt after his fall and stabbing. Oh, it's him again. Boris, forgive me. I'd steer this weapon of deliverance to a worthier servant than I. Oh. What? He's sacrificing himself? Oh, Got him. You never possessed 
the metal for this crusader. Stab him. Oh shit, he cut his head off. Wait, wait. A hollow knight, a stalwart knight whose loyalty to the cleric and the hollowed sentinels is matched only by their determination to destroy Adir and the Rogar, a class focused on physical prowess bolstered by radiance. Okay. Werewolf. A hardened champion from the land of or Duranger who has proven themselves worthy of their people's honored rank of Warwolf. By completing the request, the requisite ancient trial, one which has few survive, the same but lightly armored class, driven by raw strength for good or ill. Partisan? Eh, that's probably going to be a no. But a uh, dutiful Mornstead fighter who sor sorrow at the ruination of their kingdom by occupying forces only fuels their. Defiant struggle in the name, whether whatever. Um, a seasoned Mornstead foot soldier whose time in the mud and blood and turmoil of battle taught them the value of agility, speed, and keeping the enemy at a distance. A class for those who favor dexterity and light defense over strength and bulkier armor. Look at this guy. A member of the elite band of rangers who patrolled these forests of life of whatever for a terrible curse. Born of grief lay waste to their home and an accessible class ideal for those who prefer versatility over a more focused approach. An exiled stalker. Was this Assassin's Creed? A former Imperial Assassin, their downfall. No. A challenging class to master, but also a lethally effective one. Got a preacher? A wandering preacher whose unshakable faith for the divine will of Orius guides their way with the spread of his holy light. A physical vulnerable class reliant on radiance, whether protection or searing the sinful flesh. Hyric cultist. Uh, that guy looks kind of neat, though. A fer uh, fervent worshiper of Adir who has sworn to see the natural order finally restored as humanity's one true god returned to his rightful place as their ruler. A high risk class relia reliant on prophecy and inferno. And a condemned. A wretched prisoner who has suffered indescribable torments, whether there were. was ever any truth in their guilt or not a class for those who would rage at fate and throttle adversaries with unflinching blood soaked hands pick at your own risk body type B what does that mean all right how to build my character Law, the latest receiver of his grace. What's that? Great potential dwells within you, doubtless, for you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus' wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment of this subsequent boon. Boon. Your flesh has been made sacrosanct with the mark of the Dark Crusaders. Prove yourself worthy of this gift. Seek uh -huh. me in the bowels of the bridge. I'll try. 
Our work is of the greatest import. I did all that work on tattoos and facial hair and how I look. And I'm covered in armor. See how I look. Not bad. Um, that's what that does. Shield. Swipe. If it's a hard hit. Lights up the way a little bit. Moves pretty fast. R1 for a quick attack with and hold R2 for Oh shit, that was good. You like lock on or no? It's down here. Innovated vigor skull. What does that mean? Is that good? Vicar skulls, sanguine. Okay. Oh, for a quick attack and. to walk into a tower to switch between targets. Our stamina goes down pretty quick. I can't look around, you know what I mean? Get off me. Oh, Annie can run. While sprinting with L. Ow. Forsworn. Ah, there we go. And we're off. I missed it. God damn it.
that took too many tries. When locked onto a target, use circle to dash quickly around the enemy. By double tapping in circle, you can roll out of danger. Shit at me. What's wrong with you? Inventory. Open your inventory. Select the slots you want to modify with X and equip an available gear with X. Uh. Grenade. Press to select range combat modes and press L2 to use the equipped range long range weapon or sorcery catalyst. All range attacks consume either ammunition or mana. Different ammunition types and spells have different content costs. Uh, for bows, crossbows, and throwables, keep L2 and press to stay in ranged mode. The quick access menu shows use R1 for a quick and sh shot and R2 to aim down sight while locking on to an enemy. Both are quick shots. For Callus, keep L2 process to stay in range mode, then quick access menu shows which ones to press in order to cast each spell. Um, okay. What's that? Just beat his ass. What's that noise? Why is that doing that? Uh, umbral lamp with a traverse pass. Only oh, this will end umbral. Indicate points of interest in, in Umbral. Select Umbral Lamp and raise it with L2. Ooh. 
All attacks can be combined to create a new combo, including both melee and ranged attacks. Additionally, melee stances can be switched currently using triangle to access a wider variety of attacks. Sprint with equip between different melee and ranged weapons to create a unique playstyle. Primary healing tool and recharges automatically upon reviving. It can be accessed in the quick access items and activating using square. Other consumables can be found near quick. Blah, blah, blah. Use it. You can assign any consumables to your quick access. Okay. Suck your armor lamp and raise it. Rift holding square to transition to umbral. Beware you can only ex umbral at specific points. What? by holding square turns to umbral. Holding square engine to under. Unlock onto them, select under a lamp with. Now what? Lock onto an enemy, select your umbra lamp, raise it with L2, and then press R2 to sulfide. When enemy's soul is exposed, attack it to apply wither damage. 
and with an enemy is to inflict a large amount of damage. Find an enemy soul and consumes a soul fly charge. Select your armor lamp, raise it with L2, and then siphon enemies and blisters with R1 to recover soul fly charges. Sees whether or when entering umbral and to perform certain actions with your umbral lamp. Whether it health can be recovered by damaging enemies. However, you will lose it all instantly if you are struck. Oh, well that sucks. Falling, press R1 or R2 to perform a plunge attack. I need more there. Oh, that's what I need. There we go. Wait a minute. What was over here? What is that? I mean to do that. I mean to do that, Nina. <laughs> For long periods, the number will make your presence increasingly known. It is inhabitants. The longer you spend in umbral, the more dangerous the beings you hunt. What does that mean? Go away. 
no? Oh, it's that door. Now where the hell am I? Useful. Open door. Uh, marks place where previous lampers fell once. Activated these service points of revival should you die in Umbral. Activated vessels can be warped between the used to beckon and other lamp prayers. Multiplayer. Um, rest. Upgrade character. Upgrade character. What does that do to me? Alright, 412, physical, fire, holy, defense. Next one, I'll go up a little bit. And that goes up. Bleed and burn go up. Agility does almost the same thing. Stamina and weight so I can carry more and all the same thing. Vitality, health goes up. My physical doesn't go up. Radiance, mana goes up. Inferno, mana. That goes up by 20 for health. All right, we're, we'll do that one for now. All right, so I think we'll end this episode here. I hope you guys are enjoying. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And we'll, maybe we'll see what's going on with the red lights. Yeah.